Today I get asked a question about the UR65 and how I set it up for acro mode by one of my subscribers called Home Dronin. Now I'm just going to go through that with you right now. These are all my settings on beta flight. Most of them are actually stock. Right, we'll go to port first as you can see this is how it's set up. As you can see the number there and we'll go into configuration. Now I've got D-Shot 600 on, motor stop on, 4.5 uh, is my idle throttle rate. I know you can put that up a bit but I'm going to leave it at that. All the settings here, these are the default settings. Now I've got a Tyrannus QX7, I've bound it in D8 mode and the, you want to make sure it says First guy D here to bind it up. Now let's go down to elementary on OSD. Don't forget anything that you change, hit that save button. If you don't save, it will not save, of course. And like I said, I've left most of everything on. I changed the battery settings. A lot of people complain about the battery, the warning of the battery constantly coming up. Well, the best way to change it is in the OSD itself. Now, um, so these are my battery settings. This is what I've set them all to. Why, why are you buzzing away there? That, sorry about that. That's my transmitter. Okay, stop it. <laughs> Let's go to PIDs. Now, I've changed nothing on the PID side. Reason being is because it flew perfect out of the box. I liked it. I really liked it indeed. So I left it at that. If I need to change it at any time because I'm flying a lot of acro at the moment, I will do it and I'll let you know about that later. Now let's get on to the receiver. And this is how I've got auxiliary one is my arm switch and auxiliary two, it's a three switch. So I'm at zero right now in second position and third position and back down to zero again. Now, to get on to acro mode, this is how I set it up. Horizon mode was on, but I took it off because I never use horizon mode. I do on occasion use angle mode if I'm coming in to land at a tight space or if I'm flying in the house. So I leave that on and I have air mode as well. Now, if I arm the quadcopter, you can see it's armed, but nothing is highlighted. That is because if you arm your quadcopter and nothing is highlighted, you're actually in acro mode. It's basically rate mode is acro mode. That's what you're in. So we are now in acro mode. There's nothing highlighted apart from us arming the quadcopter. Now, if I switch the auxiliary switch, to its second position, it's in angle mode. I should actually switch this over, but I just left it as is because I'm lazy. <laughs> and if I flip it to the third position, I'm now in air mode. Now, if I flip it, flip it back to its normal position, that's me back into acro mode. Simple as that. Uh, don't need to go into motors at the moment. Uh, now, the OSD itself, you can change all this around. Just remember, it depends what type of goggles that you have. You might not see some of this on the screen because you might have PAL goggles or an NTSC, but goggles these days usually can uh, switch between them both and it's set to auto. If not, then just drag and drop whatever you want further in the screen and you should be able to see it on your goggles. Now the most important thing, what I was saying about the battery warning, turn it off. This is where you want to turn it off. Just turn it off there and you will have no more battery warning coming up in the front of your OSD on your screen here. Another thing you want to change as well here, uh, the battery capacity is set to something crazy like 2000. Change it to whatever side of the battery you're using, and they're usually 250 milliamp batteries, and that's what you want to change it to. 
And don't forget to click save again. That's it. That's all my settings. They're basically stock out the box. But if I ever do get round to changing anything, I will let you know. Now, so there you have it. Home droning. These are all the settings. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, my friends, you can't see my thumb, but happy flying.